Hello everybody, what is up? This is Phil from IPTB.net. Thank you guys for checking out this video. In today's video, I will be doing a tutorial. I will be showing you guys how to downgrade your iDevice from iOS 5 down to iOS 4. Now this is actually quite simple. A lot of places make it out to be a lot harder than it really is. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So this works for a plethora of different devices. This will work for um, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 as well as iPads 1 and 2 and that's the case when the iPad if you're wondering now I'll be doing this on an iPhone 3GS let me show you guys that it is running uh, iOS 5 go to settings general about and you will see the version is 5.0 to be exact this is beta 1 now I will be downgrading this down to iOS 4 more specifically uh, iOS 4.3.3 the newest version of iOS 4 out for the iPhone 3GS so without further ado let's get started the first thing you're gonna need to do is go on your computer and download the 4.3.3 IPSW for your device. Now I will have a link in the video description to this website right here which allows you to download your iPod, your uh, firmwares. What you're going to need to go to is scroll down a little bit in the page to where you see iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and Apple TV. There will be a drop down menu that lists all the different iDevices and firmware versions so you just choose what you need. I need iPhone 3GS 4.3.3 like that. I click it and then you hit the download button and it will download your firmware. Now I already have mine downloaded and it is here on my desktop. Let me fix this up real quick. It is right here iPhone 4.3.3 so now what you're going to need to do is your iDevice you're going to need to plug it into your computer and then put it into DFU mode now this is quite simple what you do is you hold down the power and home buttons for 10 seconds together or until the screen goes black after your screen goes black you will hold down the home button only until your computer recognizes that there is an iDevice plugged in so, without further ado, there's my computer screen so you can see what happens on it. And I will put this into DFE mode. Now, if, if iTunes comes, on, comes up, you can go ahead and close it out. You don't really need it up yet. So, let's put this thing into DFE mode. Holding down both buttons for 10 seconds and letting go of the power button, holding down the home. So, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine ten letting go one two three four five six seven around the seventh second your computer should recognize it iTunes will pop up saying that it is has uh, detected an iPhone in recovery mode you must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes hit OK and you'll see the restore button right there now what you're going to need to do if you're on Windows like I am, on your keyboard, you're going to need to hold down the shift key, this key right here, while you click on the restore key using your normal left click. Now if you're on a Mac, I believe it is option click. I'm not sure. I will have the actual key that it is in the video description below. So at the same time, hold down the shift key and click on restore this window or something like it should pop up it will be directories now what you're going to want to do is navigate to that I IPSW that you saved like you saw I put mine on my desktop and that's a good place to put it and you'll see the IPSW hit open and you'll get a pop up that says iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.3.3 and verify the restore with Apple hit restore and it will begin the restore process on both your phone and your computer 
So, you just wait pretty much for this thing to finish up, and uh, yeah. And once it's done, you'll see this pop-up saying your iPhone has been restored to factory settings. And uh, your phone will just reboot. Put that down here. So you can see that when it happens. And it will boot back up into iOS 4.3.3. It'll do this little thing real quick first. Shouldn't take long, as you saw that. And it will just boot up. Now, first you're gonna get this, obviously, and then once iTunes activates it and recognizes it, let me show you guys that we are now on 4.3.3. So we will go to settings, general, about, and the version you'll see is 4.3.3. We are now downgraded from iOS 5. So that's how to downgrade your device from iOS 5 down to iOS 4. Like I said, it's a pretty simple process. This has been Phil from IPTV.net. Thank you guys for checking out this video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch my next one. So if you, if you uh, entered my PureMate LCD Protection Film giveaway, I will be announcing the winners in my next video. As well as, might I might possibly be announcing another giveaway that I might be having. And I really hope that you guys uh, enjoy that. So, this has been Phil. Make sure to comment, thumbs up this video, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.